Welcome to We Shoot Films, where we teach about cinematography, Unreal Engine, and we do product reveals that support both of those subjects. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe. Now today, we're going to be in Unreal Engine, and this is what I'm going to teach you to do. All right, well, let's get to it. Again, this is the silhouette style of shooting the scene, and it can really come, um, it can really, you know, it's really good to know how to do it. It's not really particularly hard, but it's just something that I thought I could show you in case you don't know how to do it. This is how you do it, okay? Um, we're gonna go from the beginning to the end. I'm gonna bring in the green screen, all of that. So. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to be forever, but I'm not in a rush. So I'm here to teach. Hopefully you're here to learn or pick up a little bit of stuff. And later in the middle somewhere, I'm gonna show you another technique of bringing in your green screen where it's a little easier instead of stretching it out and stuff. But we're gonna get into that. All right, so let's open up Unreal Engine. And also, while Unreal Engine opens up, I want to let you know I am doing consultations now for Unreal Engine, cinematography, lighting, anything that I do, anything that I teach on this channel, I'm open to a comp for a consultation. So if you need me, let me know one-on-one. -on -one. You can book it on my website or find me on my social medias, DM me, and we can schedule something for you, all right? All right, so let's get into it right here. All right, filming video. Um, I'm putting ray tracing. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Um, and you're gonna label something. I'm gonna put um, sample. I'm gonna call it sample. You know, you can call it whatever you wanna call it. All right, so let's take that in and cancel there. Um, I always go to my windows for some reason if it's not already set up. And I hit UE for a classic layout because I just like it. Okay, so first things first, let's create a room real quick. So we're going here to shapes and cube and just bring a cube out. All right. Now this isn't really about a room, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. For those, if this is your first time seeing this, the space bar lets you all, you know, pick all these di different things that let you go back and forth and turn stuff around and and squash and squish, okay? All right, so, and that's pretty much what we're doing. We're gonna squish this, we're gonna stretch it, and just create a wall. That's all we're doing, okay? And um, I'm gonna create two, so I'm gonna go from here, and I'm gonna go way over here. I wanted to have a certain look, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, and now to copy and paste, I mean, to copy this, you hit Alt and left click on your mouse and pull, and you can copy it, okay? And we're gonna bring it right there close to it. Yep, and then I'm gonna group these, so I'm gonna hold, so click on here, then you go, um, the control, I'm a PC dude, just to let you know. Click on here, left click here, and then right click and hit group, so then it just groups them together, okay? All right, then we're going to, again, Alt, left click, and push over here, all right? Then we're gonna do it again, Alt, left click, mm. and then we're gonna turn it 90 degrees, and we're gonna stretch it, and all we're doing is creating a roof, and then Bring it up. So all we're doing is creating a quick roof. Nothing crazy. Okay. All right. And as far as the floor, let me move this roof out the way for the moment. So I can have some. The floor, we're just gonna create the floor. So here we go. I mean, the floor is already here. Just kind of stretch it to where it could be okay. All right, somewhere around there. And we are going to 
Remember, Alt, left click, and then put that in place to where it, it falls right in. So you don't want no gaps. You want it to go right flush. There you go. Ah, a little bit more. Yep, there you go. And we'll do that one more time. Yep, all right. All right, we got our room. That easy, that fast, okay? That easy, that fast, dope. All right, so what we also want to do is this. We need to get the plugin. The plugin I was telling you about that I'm going to use for this. Hopefully you can purchase it. It's not that much, okay? So we go to Windows and hit Open Marketplace. And it's a, it's a plugin that controls the weather. Uh, hit Library. Actually, let me see. I got to remember. I never could remember the name of it. I don't know why. Right there. It's called Ultra Dynamics Guy, and I'm telling you, it's worth the money. It's not expensive, but it's worth it. I mean, look at the beautiful stuff it does. And then it can do lightning, rain, dust storms, and it comes with the sounds as well. Okay, so once you get that, right here, you add to project. I'm gonna pick my project, sample, and then it'll load it. And then that's that. Now, we also, what I also want you to do is get familiar with Quixel Bridge if you're not. Okay, right here, if you go to Windows, Quixel Bridge, this is a great tool to have. Again, I know most of you know this, but if you're a beginner, you know, this gives you free assets, free 3D models. But right now, all I'm interested is in surfaces. If you go to surfaces, you can get any kind of surface you want, ground, metal, anything, okay? Metal isn't great. Anything reflective isn't great for these types of scenes. So you don't want reflective surfaces for these types of scenes. So we're gonna go with concrete, okay? And I'm gonna download something not too crazy. Um, and see, I start getting too much, like I'm really building this out for a real, and I gotta relax, I gotta just do the tutorial. I'ma just download this one right here, and I'ma just keep medium quality. You can go up to high quality if you'd like. When I do this seriously, I would probably do high quality, unless it's far away, I'm not gonna see it. So you go download, and it starts downloading. All right, and then you hit add right there. Now I'm gonna just grab another material. I'm gonna let's say this here, and we're gonna download it, and then hit add, all right? Now once you're connected and you do all that, you can get out of there, and then over here you'll see it says mega scans. And inside of mega scans, you'll find these right here, okay? Now I'm going to place these, um, I'm probably going to put this one onto the walls. Okay, so all you do is just drag them and just place them. I mean, apply them. I'm going to do it to the ceiling too. And then on the floor, I'm going to just have something different. Just some simple gravel. Not gravel, but you know, just a simple texture. Okay. It's hard to see. So if you want to see, you can grab a light here. Go to light, spot, point light just for the heck of it, for the moment. We're not gonna keep it in here, but it's just for the moment. But as you see, we have these walls. Now they're very big, these things. Usually I wouldn't keep them that big, even though they look cool, but um, you can tile them and all that, but that's a whole other thing. And I'm not gonna trap myself and get into doing that because I tend to go off topic. So if you look into about UV tiling, I got some on my channel, I'm sure other people do as well, about UV tiling, okay? We're not gonna get into that right now. But we got everything that we need. Oh, we didn't get the top of that one. All right. Looks kinda dope though, I ain't gonna front. All right, so here it comes, here we go. Now we're getting to it, all right? Um, let me make sure I put this in there. All right. 
Now for the good stuff. We're gonna get our ultra dynamic sky. If you look down here, right here it says ultra dynamic sky. You hit the blueprint and it's right here, ultra dynamic sky. Okay, this is the weather one, the one that gives you electricity. I mean, you know, your lightning, your rain, um, your dust storms. I'm not getting into that right now. Right now we only worried about creating this, okay? So we're gonna grab it and stick it inside. Usually for some reason it wants me to do it twice. So there you go. Now for this to fully work, like it needs to work and have full control, you need to get rid of the skylight that's here already, the sky sphere, and the light source, okay? Because if we go down back to ultra dynamic sky, you see there's no more room, there's no light out there except for this. And now we have that. Now let's also create a camera. So let's go to cinematics and get a cine camera actor, bring that down, okay? Bring it up. See, because you see how bright it looks in our work area? You can't go by that, okay? You have to go by what the camera sees because what the camera sees is what the render really truly is, okay? Now, if you want to only, see, I like to work like this usually. I kind of usually use this and let this be my workspace, which this is. But if you want to, you can click on your camera, go up here to perspective and click on center camera actor. See, now we're looking through the camera, okay? I don't personally like to do that a lot. I do it once in a while, but, um, you know, I like to stick to how I, how I like to work. And so, and right here, you can pin it so that it won't go away. But let's set up the camera real quick. All right, come down here and hit full frame. I'm gonna go with a 30 millimeter and the crop we're doing 239 because it just looks beautiful and cinematic. All right. And you're gonna, and up here you can go left to right, you can control it here also, forward and back, up and down, okay? So I'm gonna just bring this back some. I just stay, yeah, I'm gonna bring this back some just for the heck of this, okay, right here, right here. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's create this. Now we punch, click on this, click on ultra dynamic. You could do it there or here, whatever way. Click on it again, because we just want the sun. All right, but before you get on that, right here on the search, hit sun. And then right here, you see it says manually position sun target. Click on that. Okay, and then why, always when you look, if you're not staying in there, stay, you know, just clear it. Anyway. So now we can manually position the sun for the time of day that it is. And I'm looking for something like that, you know, that, I'm looking for this type of, you know, some kind of golden type of vibe. All right, that's what I'm looking for. All right, but you see the sun is right there. You're controlling it. If it goes up, down, left, right, you're controlling the sun if you see it, okay? And remember, Place it based off what your camera sees, not what you're seeing up here. There's pers your perspective over here, your workplace is different than what the camera's viewing, okay? And we can take this off right now. And so see, it's, it's, that matters, all of this matters. Okay, so we got that, all right? Now we wanna try and give ourselves a little more sky. Okay, so you go to cloud coverage and you can, by cloud coverage, you can, you know, pick, it changes the clouds a bit. But we can also try to change the overall intensity so that we could see some more skies and, and stuff, okay? Up here, while this is clicked on Ultra Dynamic Sky, click on Cloud, okay? And right here it says Bottom Altitude. This helps out a lot sometimes. 
to create like a certain type of vibe or look. You know what I mean? See, like you might want this vibe right here. That's kind of dope. Um, and then clear out of there, but you're still into ultra dynamic sky. You can go back to cloud coverage and then you can mess with it even more. You could take it all away if you want, or some of it. You can fill it up or it's too much. You know what I mean? I just trying to show you there's so many ways to go about this. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. You can't just expect to um, do it all. I'm going back to cloud again and I'm gonna mess around with some of these. You know, I'm just messing around with it. That's all I'm doing. And that's why I say you're never gonna get the same look twice probably, because you're just, you know, you're, you're, you're messing with the scales and you just mess, having fun, you know? See what, see what you come up with, that's all. And I'm actually gonna leave that right there, okay? Okay, so now let's bring in our green screen, all right? Because if I could stay forever tweaking and, you know, I'm gonna leave that for you to do, okay? So let's bring in the green screen. Here we go, from the beginning. We, I go on content, right click, new folder, all right? Call it what you want, okay? And right click over here, media, image media source, label that. It doesn't like to be labeled the same thing twice. Okay, so when you, and right here, sequence path, you gotta pick the path where your uh, sequence is. Now, this is what I do, okay? I shoot everything in 4K, 60 frames per second, okay? With a shutter speed of 120 minimum. Uh, sometimes I'll go to shutter speed a little higher, but that's what I shoot my green screen at. Now, when I bring it into After Effects, I, I, I edit and take away the green and key it out in the 10 to 1080, okay? So I shoot in 4K, but I end up with a PNG sequence of 1080, 16 by nine. Remember that. Doing, exporting 4K is not really necessary. It really isn't. Um, it does too much to your hard drive, your computer. 1080 is way more than sufficient. So you don't need to. Can you? Yes, go ahead. But I don't. I export all my PNG sequences, 1080p, 16 by nine, all right? So click on the first one, the first one that you have, and it's gonna load everything else. Then over here, frame rate, at the frame rate you recorded it. I recorded it at 60 frames per second. Then hit save and go down. Then we're gonna right click again, media, media player. Then right here, click on that, very important. Click okay. Call it something else, not the same name. If you call it stars, call it stars two. I mean, that's what I do and click on here and you can see what it's, it's playing, it's, for, it's perfect. Okay, now this is the part where I've discovered a little quicker and easier, nothing crazy, but before, well, let me show you. Before what we used to do is, we're gonna bring on our green screen, right? So before we would go to shape, right? Go to the plane, you know, bring it up, grab the media texture, apply it, okay? And then, you know, we turn it, uh, we turn it 90. There you go, give this one 90, boom. And then right here, you see it's open. You wanna close that and then we can just uniformly bring it all together, right? Bring it up. Obviously he's too tall, but, and we'll bring it up to this, up there. And if you need a little more better, you know, to be a little more specific, you can cut this, you know, take that out so you can be more better, more. All right, but anyway, let's bring in a light in here so we can see this dude, all right. So check it out. So you see how, you see how squeezed he look, you know? So we would take him and then be like, well, I guess, guess that looks good. That looks normal, you know, like, that should be it, or is it this one? Or is it this one? Or, you know, which one is it? It's gotta be one of these two, but you just pick one and it is what it is and hope that they don't notice, you know what I mean? Um, 
but now we could do it better. All right, so let's delete this. And this is an easier, faster way, okay? Go back to the shape, grab your plane as usual. All right, bring it up. Then over here, we're gonna open this, unlock this. And here, we're gonna just hit 16. Then here, we're gonna hit nine, enter. Then we lock this back up. Now throw the media texture back on there. And let's turn them back, 90, 90. And he is what he's supposed to be as far as that way, okay? Not in height, height, you know, how big or giant we wanna make them, that's easy, that's cool. But we don't have to worry about stretching them, you know, the wrong way, because that is how he looks. So I like that, I like that, uh, I like that a lot. It's just an easier way, so hopefully that helps somebody if you was um, you know, wondering about that, okay? So let's get rid of this. Oh, actually, let's keep this, because in case you see this, you'll know what to do as well, okay? All right, so now, when you see this, let's do a, a level sequence, because we need him to move. So come up here, add level sequence, and I always stick it usually where, you know, I put the, the green screen at, okay? Save, and then add media track. Right here, you click the plus button, media source, click, right click, properties, media texture, and there you go. And then right here, what frames per second you're at, 60 frames, okay. And then down here, I just put five nines, only just so I can squeeze it real quick so I can stretch it out real fast. And these little white lines just means the video is, is looping. It, it's, it's gonna go back to the beginning, okay? It's at the end. All right, so I'm gonna put this somewhere near the end. I don't need the whole thing, this is just a demonstration. And now we got him moving. But you see how it looks like there's a lot of weirdness of him moving, the blurriness of him? You see it? If you see that, it looks weird, it's blurry, looks terrible. That's because you have your anti-aliasing on. So, go to Edit, Project Settings, click on Anti, right here, hit None, None, and it will be gone. He won't do that no more, see? Now he's regular. That looks good. And we don't need this no more. Click off that, because we want him to be in the dark. <laughs> but if you see, now the background got no clouds. The clouds all left, yo, because this, this program does it in like, real life. Like, it, the clouds move, and they really move. So you gotta go back to Ultra Dynamic Sky, and hit cloud coverage right here. And it'll bring something back. It'll start it back again. See, there you go. Now you also can go to cloud speed. If you go up to search and hit cloud speed, you can lower that down some so they don't move so fast, all right? They kind of stay sort of in that world because they be moving. So there's, like I told you, there's so many things that you could do with this. Okay, so, just like fog, you have fog in here. You have everything that you need in this thing, I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. All right, now, you also have Bloom, and Bloom is a big piece of this, all right? You hit Bloom, and like I said, there's so much you can do, it's just, it's just bananas, all right? So, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna grab the sky thing again, and I'm gonna see if I can give it a little bit of a look even more. Sometimes it's hard to move it. Right now I'm inside of the camera. Hold on, 
Come on. Okay. Now, this is what we got to do. Well, we also, inside of um, Ultra Dynamic, if you go to Sun, I believe there's a light shaft occlusions you can include in here. Light shaft blooms, see right here, that bloom. See, the bloom is what gives it that vibe, that, that beautiful vibe, you know what I mean? You just gotta catch You feel me? You see that? So it just, and I also think the, the clouds are a bit too frozen now, but I'll go back to that. But I'm trying to show you that um, you can do just so much with this. It's crazy, you know? But anyway, he needs a shadow, okay? So we got him working, he's in here. He does need a shadow though, regardless, right? Um, so let's do that. Let's give him a shadow, because there's no shadow there. Now there's a specific way you have to do it, all right? You gotta grab your ultra dynamic sky and drag it into your sequencer, okay? And then right here, on this plus, hit the plus and bring the sun in right there, sun, okay? And then make sure you're in the beginning of your sequence. Now, you're gonna hit plus again on the sun and bring in a transform, okay? Cause that's what's gonna let you do this. And you're gonna click here on all of them and you're gonna go to rotation and you're just gonna, it's not gonna do anything to the sun. You're just gonna just move the rotation and then go to the end, okay? Go to the end where you're gonna be and move the rotation again just to create keyframes, all right? Now, you still don't see a shadow, I know. But now what you do is click on your green screen, go to the material, Make sure you're on this one right here, okay? You, you, you won't. And then right here, two-sided, click on two-sided, apply and save, and you should come back to a, there you go. Now it should move. Yep, there you go, it's moving. It's dope, huh? It's, it's moving, like it really should move, okay? Let's get some movement going on, okay? So let's go back to the beginning. And again, now we get out of the sun. Don't mess around with the sun transform, that's done. You wanna click on your camera, open it up to where it's transform is, okay? And right transform here, make sure you're in the beginning. You're gonna click here so they're all set. And open up location and rotation. And let's do my famous roll move. So we're gonna go like this. This we're gonna bring back right here. Okay. We're gonna go to the to up up here. We're gonna go forward and then turn the other direction. Go forward. And you can do what you want at this moment. Go forward, go back, go all the way out to the sky. You know, I'm just gonna show you that piece, okay? Now let's see what we got. And it's too slow. So if it's too slow, grab these. If you hit control and on your, on your mouse wheel, just, you know, go like this on your mouse wheel. You can stretch this right here. Grab these, bring it closer, it's too slow. So let's see where we at. That's still too slow, so bring it closer. There we go. Adding some dope 
chill R&B music playing. He's singing his heart out, you know what I mean? And all that good stuff. <laughs> and if you want, you can make it come back by just going opposite with it, okay? Make it go backwards. And if you go backwards, then do the roll the different, this, this way, if you want to. If you want to, you don't have to, you know? But I'm just showing you the vibe. You know what I mean? And that's that's how you do it. But again, the, the, the sky is bananas, man. It's not easy to get a good, you know, to just it's not gonna just be that easy. It's just not, it's just not. So you gotta play with it. You know, you gotta play with it. And And that's the one of the most headaches about this is playing with it. It's the most headache about this is messing with the sky, the clouds, you know, and, and creating something cinematic. I hit some go on the camera go to your camera and check out the bloom on your camera you know see what we can enhance with that put it on convolution and that'll help out some for sure open this up a little bit you know what I mean and like I told you it's all about you just gotta play with it, man. You know what I mean? Period. It's up to you. You have to play with this stuff, man, to make it look how you want it to look. Hopefully this has helped you, you know, create or have the idea at least. You know what I mean? See, I still keep messing with it. I just can't help myself. You can make the sun, you can even make the sun, you can do the intensity of the sun if you want to, you know what I mean? Which you don't have to, you know, you can cut it down some so it's not as bright. See, it's all on your vibe, man. But that's the scene, okay? That's the vibe right there, what you're looking at right now, which isn't ugly at all. Imagine some, some dope music playing, some romantic, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put on some little romantic music, all right? You know how to add audio? Let's add audio. So over here, hit import. I'm gonna I'm bring this in. Okay, and then we can just throw it right into the audio track. Now I'm gonna just pick anything here and now we got some romantic stuff popping off. Check it out, check it out, let me see. But only be friends. We couldn't be lovers Cause I was a love of a best friend We could've hung out Could've hit a nice spot But she said it wasn't gonna happen So I had to try See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. You put some music, it's a rap, yo And then you could do like that You can go side to side You can sweep in and out You can go up and down You can just create scenes with this even more close-up scenes. Um, let's say we change the 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 focal length, right? To get a whole other vibe. This one scene is the Y scene. All right, you can go and go into your camera and change it to uh, instead of a 30 millimeter, let's go to 105. All right. And there you go. Look at this now. It totally blew my mind. Now, we didn't, we didn't, um, let me get out of there. We did not choose him to be, to, to, to be in focus. 
Now, if you're doing that, you should. So this is how you do put them in focus if you don't know how to. You make sure you, you're on your camera, all right? And then, uh, how you call it? Not, not look at tracking, not, not right here, the actor to track, don't do that. Focus settings, you click this and put this on tracking and then drop, drop this in the Doppler here, you click on him and he'll be focused from now on, check this out. And then see the cloud coverage has changed. So let's say you're doing a different scene. So go back to Ultra Dynamic Sky, go to your cloud coverage and mess with it again to change it up a little bit. We can get that sun back, all right? And then we changed it to what, a 85? Something like that. And then go back into here. She said we could only be friends. We couldn't be lovers. Cause I was the love of her best friend. We could have hung out, could have hit a nice spot. But she said it wasn't gonna happen. So And I'm going to give this one some bloom. There you go. See how that's like regular, but I like it to overpower the, the to kind of overpower it like that. That's what I really like. I like it to for him to catch some of that sun. It just makes it look better. It totally blew my mind. But she said a loyalty comes first. We should just remain friends. Maybe in another life. See what I'm saying? So and if you change the angle again, if you change the, 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 this is 105, you go to an 85 millimeter, it's gonna look good right there. But she said her loyalty comes first. We should. See what I'm saying? It looked dope. You go back to a 30 millimeter. That's the look we want. But she said her loyalty comes first. We should just remain friends. Maybe in another lifetime. Or, we go ahead and hit them with the 12 millimeter, yo. 12 millimeter is going to be mad wide, yo. Watch. See what I'm saying? Hey, it totally blew my mind. But she said her loyalty comes first. We should just remain friends. Maybe in another lifetime. Oh. See what I'm saying? So. I know this is kind of long, but all these things matter when creating dope imagery. You, you just seen right now, changing it from a 12 millimeter to a 30 or 105 to 85, it changes all the looks and you gotta be able to play with it to get that look you want, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to give you the tools. You gotta practice, you gotta learn, um, get creative, you know what I mean? Cause that right there is pretty dope. I mean, then, you know, obviously the scene is regular. Like we could add stuff to the scene and you don't even gotta add nothing crazy. Like you can go and create like a cube, get a cube and put some texture on it, right? And now you can get a bunch of cubes and now you're creating shadows and you're creating uh, stuff to make it interesting, you feel me? So now you done created the shadows, you created something interesting. So even just with those three little cubes that I just put in there, look how it looks now. Hey, it totally blew my mind. But she said her loyalty comes first. We should just Because you're giving it something else. You know what I mean? Like just doing that created that look. Like that's crazy, yo. I could take uh uh you know, you could take the same cube again, just off cubes, man and throw it on the wall, you feel me? Like no joke, like literally, if I can control this damn thing, throw it on the wall, you feel me? 
and turn it a little. So now it's, it's like that. You feel me? Look at that. And now you create a bunch of those. You know, it's all about creating shadows. You feel me? Oh, okay. This thing acting stupid. But anyway. So just just doing that. Look at that. We just changed up the video. Hey, it totally blew my mind. But she said a loyalty comes first. We should just remain friends. Maybe in another life. She and and what's going to be, and what's selling this, it's not just the background with the clouds and all that, which we have to fix again because they're leaving, you know. Um, and like I said, we can freeze it when you get the right one you want. But yeah, you know, this it's just it's all about that bloom, man. You see that? Look at that, man. Even that is still. Look at that. And this song has nothing to do with him. It's just a song I'm putting there that's that's R and B ish. But what I'm saying is, look at that. And I made the room look dope by just adding the same square in different places to create shadows, to create depth. You feel me? All right, let me stop here, man. Hopefully you got something out of this. I think there's a lot of little bits. Like even me, when I watch tutorials, sometimes I watch tutorials about stuff I already know because somebody might say that one thing that I've been trying to figure out and they might just happen to mention it. And hopefully I think there's things in this one that I might have said that are random that you might have been wondering about or trying to figure out. I'm hoping I bring you value. Um, I'm just here to help. I'm here to service, um, you know, to be a service of you. And I appreciate everybody that's sharing, liking, everything. You know what I mean? If I didn't mention something, I forgot something, you know, leave it in the comments. I always answer y'all back. You know I do. And um, that's about it, man. Hopefully this brought you value. All right? So subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.